everyone. Thank you for tuning in. This is Jessica Nayrod. We are streaming our final D1 feature game of the day. It's Mercury Rising in yellow versus red coats in white today. I think there might have been someone with a colorblind conflict, so they couldn't wear their regular red. Early shot on net by Mercury Rising. Okay, so. Go ahead and let me on this. Sure. Okay, so I'll I had up. Alec and Ben here of oh, Gwendolyn Fame. So oh yeah, of Gwendolyn Fame. The Gwendoliners. The Gwendoliners. Hey guys, I players. like Gwendolonians. Okay. It's definitely Gwendolonians. Yes. Jess is right. Yeah. Okay, so they brought up a good question. Who is the fastest person in the league? So I thought it was Alex Shutt, but who do you guys think it is? I mean, we only have one. We only got Claude watching. Claude, we missed you. I mean, maybe you were here earlier and I didn't see you, but. Ooh. See, Jess, uh, what I would love to see is a, an all star weekend with like well, hardest shot, fa like okay. fastest runner. That'd be that so much fun. No, first of all, we used to do that. Really? Why don't we we do did that no, we because it's so expensive to rent the time, but like we should do that. Well, like Maybe an court. we could do it somewhere outdoors, like seminary or Germantown yeah. or something. Yeah, that would be so fun. Let's do that so on fun. Monday. We have a speed gun. That's true. Maybe do like a Monday All Star thing yeah, or whatever. The fastest I've seen on a Monday was 76 miles per hour. I forget who shot Alex, it, but it was Alex insane. Alex to uh, Wendy. Joel or Carlos. Probably Joel. Carlos was up there too. Carlos right. has a really strong shot. Yes, he yeah. does. Very, you don't think he does, but he does. Shot. No, Joe Shea trying to dig shot. the ball out. Stoney gets it. He plays it to Becca. Oh, Mike to Joe. Joe has like three people on him. Oh, I forget that guy's name, but he plays on Gorilla Gang. I think his name is Mike. Mike Thomas? Yeah, maybe that's his name. Yeah, Mike Thomas. Oh, the weather. Ooh, pass yes. across. Joe Shea's over there. Oh, yes. Yeah, he is. Good stuff. That's Marla. She got a helmet finally. Good job. She is definitely Marla the Starless. She's come so far in such a short amount of time. Who needs a helmet? And oh, she's please. Got you will find the time yeah. that you'll need. She there. has a helmet and she's had wheels. Yeah. She outran me real bad. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. She's so fast. What is it? He's in net. Dominic in net for red coats. All the four of my friends. Nicole in net for Mercury Ride. Uh, is it Nicole subbing for Aubrey? I think so. Yeah, that doesn't look like Aubrey over there. But it could be her. I like the leg pads are good. Here, yeah. That is such a good... The gold ones, they're really cool. Okay, so you're very perceptive to know that stuff. There's Carlos. Okay, his shirt is a little too. This is kind of frustrating. Yeah. Like, why didn't they just do red and yellow? The, the yellow is so pale. Red is definitely closer to, or white is closer yeah. to gold than red is. I think. Yeah. Definitely. Plus, like, that's their name. It should be, you know. There's enough contrast. Okay, let's see. We're gonna face off here. Right. I haven't hey, been Carlos, put some yellow. We got on. Nick Mother on uh, Mercury taking the face off against Mike Cooper. Yep. Yeah. Ben, you know people. Oh, wow. A mitt getting that. I know every stat, every rating. It's really sad. That's no. a little upsetting, actually. I used to be that way. you got to be on the podcast again. I will do it again. Okay, talk to Joe. Oh, I come in two every day. What? I do oh. every day. Oh, it's gosh. not on the podcast. Oh, okay. Not on the oh, 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 Wendy okay. with the ball. Wendy. Shot blocked. I think that's Lindsay has it. That player to watch out for today out. is Wendy on the. Uh, Mike taking it, clearing it in the zone. No, He's taking this Ovechkin's out. got his office. Wendy's got her office mm. at the back door. Oh, yeah. Austin, Austin. Carlos playing it up to Nick. Gets by. Austin, is Austin on defense? Looks like it. Or no, no, he must be center and he switched with Ariel. Okay, here he is. And then Alex yeah. is on wing? Uh, oh, that's weird then. Somehow Austin was back, but they it looks like they yeah. figured it out. That's interesting. Uh, maybe Alex is on there. Some That's yeah, what I was saying. You know, I guess Alex is the one going in for checking. That seems like a, something a wing would do. As a center, yeah. I well, still do that. These records yes. have um, a lot of center. Lower division. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, if you have the speed, you can get there. Well, the Redcoats have a lot of centers. Uh-huh. Um, they have a lot of players. Those two, they got Mike Huber is a great center. Yeah. Alex um, is keeping that ball. Like Alex. He's got a lot of people on him. Yeah, yeah. Alex and Austin, I, I can attest, as uh, teammates on Wednesday, they mm -hmm. are 
great to have around. Oh, I gotta talk to you guys. You guys have a brand new team on Wednesdays in the D2 division, the highest Gwendolyn's ever been. How is that going? Uh, so we're 2-0 right now. You're 2-0? Uh, That's phenomenal. The team is great. Um, yeah. So what, you, okay. So Teal is captaining the team. What's great it's about up. the team is that like, um, we have a lot of players who haven't been on Gwendolyn teams, but they've all been on teams with other players on the team. Okay. So like for instance, yeah. like uh, Alex Ortiz and uh, Austin Henley are on Red Coats. Oh my gosh. Um, you have both of those players yeah. on your team too, James? Joe Fru and uh, yeah. Jake Smith are both on Cup together. That's right. Um, and a lot of like of those kind of matchups, like Joe and uh, Austin are on Young Bloods together. Just okay, like, that's cool. Uh, the key with us is that like it's nice. Most of the time, Gwendolyn teams are like one of the lower cap teams. Like, yeah, it's all about chemistry. But being able to have that chemistry aspect as well as the talent is something that's like very. Just, it's a great thing to be part yeah. of. Um, everyone on the team has been just so amazing on and off the court. Um, Teal has been doing did a great job uh, getting the team together oh, and yeah. in terms of. Uh, just talking, retaining. And Teal's on red coats now too, yeah. with um, Austin and Alex. And so. Dominic as well. Oh he's yeah, Dominic. Oh, That's right. Yeah, he's uh. Oh yeah, this one's very charged. Did Dominic steal that? <laughs> okay. Dominic had uh, before, previously that? played on the and floor turbo. for uh, Black Knights. I have turbo. Wait, that's good. Thank you. I'm just gonna. Yep. Dominic Whatever you need to do. Did not play goalie on Wednesdays until this season, yeah, where uh, Teal He's pretty much goalie. dragged him out of uh, mm -hmm. playing a uh, defense for uh, or center, I think, for uh, one of the rec teams. And uh, he is, he's been a stalwart in that. He nearly had a shutout if it weren't for a uh, uh, very Simon. Uh, it was actually Nick Moser oh. for the last second goal. Which, I mean, if we're going to get beat, like, it's He's a like Gwendolyn, yeah. Exactly. Um, so yep. Nick, Nick yeah. and Adam are still in league runners, but besides that, I think we uh, we have Abdul. Mm -hmm. Our defenders are me, Abdul, and Jake Smith. Yeah. Um, Jake is Huntington? Yeah, because yep. our singers oh. are um, okay. Austin, um, Alex, and... Sam? Um, no, Sam is a wing. Okay, good. Okay. And, um, he should be a wing. He's a better wing than he is. So good at wing. What am I missing? But our wings are yeah. oh, Joe Fru, um, Sam, Joe and Aaron. Fru. And um, Aryan is also uh, a wing as well. So I nice. think it's, you know, so it's Sam and Joe Fru, mm -hmm. um, Aryan and Alex, or Aryan and Austin, because they play the Goonies together, so they got some great chemistry there. Oh, yeah. That is a very good team. The team is stacked. They're on their first uh, um, losing streak in like three seasons right well, now. They, they've been depleted player-wise, yeah. but uh, that, that was just a nice, I was giving uh, Aryan and Seth a little bit of uh, a nice little dig about that. All right, so if anyone's actually watching the game for the game, we've, uh, it is 0-0, it's 6.50, left in the first, um, a lot of back and forth for both teams. I think Mercury Rising has, okay, wait, some kind of call? The refs are discussing. Red Coats needs yeah. to get some more shots. Yeah, on exactly. Mercury yeah. Rising has definitely had some more shots. Yeah, they, um, uh, they've not faced many shots. Their defense mm -hmm. has been uh, having way too much room back there. See, Carlos yeah. is having half the court to set up. Oh, and, yeah. Um, you can't give Carlos he, that much space. Carlos, yeah, you can't get that much space. Under pressure, he definitely can panic and make some uh, not as smart decisions. But if you give him space, he's got a great slap shot. He's got um, good vision because he plays any position pretty much. Uh, so they got to really watch out for that. Ooh. Oh, oh, nice save. Great. Uh, Joe has it. He's There's making that. space for himself as well. Uh, it's pretty good. Who is the person Joe in the blue the, helmet? I don't know. It's Joe without the beard. Uh, yes, Joe shaved. Why did he do that? Because his beard was getting a little too long. No, it wasn't. But it was no, perfect. it wasn't. Well... You'll have to let him know, but it can always grow back. Yeah, okay. So just give it like a month or so. Who would have thought in this game that um, the ginger with the biggest beard on the floor is Patrick Mills? <laughs> and Wait, he is, is our ref. He's roughing. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, ben made that joke a couple right? games, a couple hours yes. ago. What's up? Ben made that joke a couple hours ago when him and Joe were refing together. Mm -hmm. I really appreciated it then, but now. <laughs> oh, what is new to the viewers? Oh, it goes a little bit high. Getting quad. But hey, people watch this after the fact. Good point. I always yeah. watch the games I play after the fact. Yep. Oh, I watch it on my TV. So do, so I, do I. I love doing that. 
It is a great way yeah. to observe yourself play because, you know, Especially it's easy to have someone say what you did wrong, but to watch it, you really get a good perspective. Yeah, there's nothing more yeah, honest like than game tape. I Dominic hate. doing a great job of moving side to side there. Yep. That is it is good. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a goal! Lindsay Biller looked like there was a hit the crossbar and then tripled in, but uh, Dominic needs a little bit more help there from that the was defense rough. to, yeah. Yeah, to get was, the ball out. She was wide open. They should have picked her up in front too. The side to side uh -oh, don't movement. Don't lose that whiteboard. Yeah, it's fine. The it's side to side there. movement was great, but uh, at, at a certain stage, uh, your defense has to help get those clears out. Um, mm -hmm. Not up the middle. Always yeah. hard up the sides. First thing they teach you in rec. Yeah, Dominic did a good yeah. job. You still have like two or three saves in that exchange. But Ooh. when Faced you leave a lot more shots. someone as uh, good yeah. as Lindsay open like that, she's going to get a goal. Ariel with the ball. He plays it to Wendy. It gets a little too much in front of her. The Mercury rising. And keeping it in. Over to Wendy. That's right. Oh, great centering pass. Oh, Alex Nick. with it. Yeah, Alex is definitely playing well today. Yep. Yeah. You see a oh, yeah. bit out there with him. Um, Alex is playing it down. I know that those two have some great. Uh, That's true. They are teammates on TNT. Well, kind of beneath the camera. In the mid, a teammate of Alex. Oh, ours there's like three people on the board. Corner. Mick played great for Arabian Nights today. Uh, yeah, he did. I played that game against you. It was uh, not fun. He, he was a great addition to the team. I'm That's sick. Happy to have him. Admit and D3 goes so far. Well, um, he's a D1 player. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, the Suds makes the salary. Makes yeah. the caps. Um, if you can follow them, props to the captain for doing a good job. Okay. And Becca offside shot on net. Becca and Abdul did a great job with this team. I mean, when you win the championship, you don't need to change up too much. We added yeah. uh, a mid and uh, that uh, that Alec guy. Um, oh yeah, him. Um, I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> Just maybe. But uh, besides that, uh, I mean, the team is pretty similar. Um, the Guardians team. Now that's a mm. that's a. Of a lot of teams. Um, is who, that your Wednesday? That's the Wednesday. Okay, too. so can you give me a rundown of each team and each division and what their unique name is? So let's the start Gwendolyn with teams. Yeah, so let's oh, start absolutely. with. Yeah, okay, wait, wait, wait. DCHL Gwendolyn Rec Team. So I'm actually the captain of that team. Oh. Uh, it is the Gwendolyn Nightmare. I'm the Gwendolyn captain. Nightmare. I'm the captain and the goalie of that team. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, we. Uh, so it's a brand new team. A yeah. lot of the guys had played on the defending champion Blue Knights team last season in rec. Okay. Um, a lot of them have played um, in the D4 teams, yep. other teams as well. Um, so it's, it's uh, like we're not, we're definitely like a, on a learning curve. Mm -hmm. uh, last season we started out a little bit slow, but it's all about building chemistry. Um, on DCHL oh. D4, there's two the shot. Teams. There's the Gladiators okay. and the Blue Knights. Okay, so Gladiators were black, right? Uh, or yellow? No, yellow. Gladiators yeah, are yellow, Blue Knights okay. are blue. And Blue Knights are blue. Okay, that's so easy. Gladiators is captained by Joe Abbott and Tio. Okay. And then okay. The Blue Knights is Matt DeGangit and Becca. And Becca. Okay, um, cool. So, um, I believe the goalie for the Blue Knights is Chris Figg. Um, that's right. He's a, I don't know him Midnight right Riders early last season. Uh, he's a great up and coming goalie. Um, I know he's missed a couple games, so I've been Have subbed. you filled in? I've subbed for two of them. Um, neither of them were wins, but they were they were okay. game, good games. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a, when you're when you split up one D four team into two, pretty much, you're, you're gonna oh, have grown teams. I can yeah. relate. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. We, um, yeah. You don't say. No. So uh, okay, so then D three is Arabian, is Arabian Nights. Nights. Yes. And then Gwendolyn Guardians is Wednesdays. And there's oh, wait, also wait, no, a Rec yeah. Wednesday team. Oh yeah, yeah. The what are they called? Uh, the Black, Knights. Black, Black Knights. Knights. So that's uh, captain oh, by gosh. David, and then, and then Teal captains. Teal and Aaron Guardians. are the Guardians captains. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's so nuts. Um, that's and it's, can't it's, do the math. It's, it's cool Six teams. Um, yep. Yeah, oh so my gosh. What's great is that a lot of the players play um, in. Together, but then we have a lot of guys who play on other teams as well. Yeah, you guys are on Crazy Eight. Yeah, like I was, not you. 
I okay. am on crazy Wait, you're on crazy eight? How did you when? not know this? Wait, since this ever. Was, since this ever? is my second season. Okay, that's not since ever. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, crazy Alex. Eights I was on crazy eights two seasons in a row. Okay. So crazy eights includes the four I'll of us. I'll leave my word. With me, kind of as a half goalie, half floor player. Yep. Uh, um, preferably floor. Preferably floor. I agree. You are um, a great defender, and we appreciate you. He's a much better goalie than I am. Um, we have. Um, I know Goonies has a couple of uh, Guardians players. Nice. And, uh, and Seth plays on our D4 team, who plays for them. Okay. So it's it's really cool just to see like that a lot of these guys reach out, need new players still, but like on the other hand, like have really good chemistry with us. Like I have yeah. the Rogue One Timers goal this season. Okay, you're doing so well for Rogue One Timers. All right, I just want to chime in. For people watching the game, it is one nothing in favor of Mercury Rising. That is the end of the first. Lindsay Bittler has the only goal of the game. That was first period, right? Yeah. I'm losing track. Of yeah, that. no, you're correct. Yeah, yes. there's a, a lot of neutral zone play here. A lot of. Uh, Thank you. I have some Gatorade. Thanks. Uh, a lot of neutral zone play. A lot of like um, turnovers. But um, yeah. I'd like to see some like, one of the teams build some more possession. I agree. Um, work the ball behind the goal if you're on offense, like. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah, uh, like just. Is that oh. Tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. But uh, Mercury Rising, both, both teams have yeah. a lot of scores. Um, I mean, this is this is D1 after all. There's a lot of scores on both oh, teams. Yeah. Um, we, I, I'd like to see. Um, out of direct codes, I'd, I'd love to see uh, Joe, Alex, Amit, like any of them, um, <laughs> uh, oh, build some momentum, get some more shots. I mean, Nicole has faced, uh, I believe that's Nicole, has yeah, faced very, it looks like Nicole very, now. very yeah. few shots this game. Um, even if they're not great shots, go for rebounds. I mean, she, she's, a, she's a great D2 goalie, but like, there's a lot of, there's a difference between D2 and D1, and like, you gotta see if um, you can get her by surprise, I mean, just Still see. getting it packed back far. Still lost his oh. sleeve. I want his oh, sleeve no. that he loves. <laughs> and he is he going to, to pick it. that up. And oh. I also oh, want to point out, it is a everywhere. different bandana than he was wearing earlier tonight. Well, he he wears a bandana when he rests, and then he puts on a cut-off sleeve from right. a t-shirt when he so plays. So a, a That'll bandana do it. and then a... Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, I he think it's a good call because you know when you're refing, you're go. not going to run Look nearly as much. Some help down there. Especially Three if you're someone oh, as you like Joe Shea. Oh, I think should have tried to get out a little earlier, but. Uh, oh, well. And with a great move there. Oh no! His oh, pass is getting cut off. I mean, Alex. Alex is teasing the ball. Alex is definitely not used to. Uh, Marla get in there with the pass to Alex. Carlos will hold that behind the goal. Taking his time with it. Might as well. Yeah. Mercury Rising has had a lot of possession this game. You gotta, you gotta oh, I know. let them uh, work out of their offense. Uh, or if they're them, if you're, if you're Mercury Rising. I think Alex is back to center. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. It goes on, wing, yeah. I guess. Yep. So Alex yeah, and Nick Moser weird. are. Uh, they must have changed it up. They probably yeah. did. Whatever they're doing didn't necessarily work in the first, so they might as well change it. Experience forward to experiment. Exactly. No. And especially because, uh, as Ben said during the first, uh, Redcoats, they have a lot of centers. Yeah. There goes Amit and Alex. So the oh. question is, they saved by Nicole. This formation that they're running, so Amit and Alex out there together, Austin and Alex out there, I, I'm very confused weird. as to what they're doing. They must have an odd number, guys. Yeah, uh, they got, yeah, not just an odd number, but like uh, in terms of which position they're playing, because yeah. like Amit is also a natural center. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so uh, it, it's Wait. very interesting to see how uh, areas are running shot. these lines. Nice shot. That's, that's the thing when you have players as good as these is that they can play any position. They're all utility guys. Uh, they all have their like get, we should get Ben closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all, yes. have their, they all have their position. Ben has a lot of insights. I love it. Yeah. Also, yeah, we can totally plug this back in. No way. Uh, yeah. like 80%. Dead. Awesome. I know, I, I see okay. a lot of players play in different positions. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> see Mercury Rising, we have Meg and Becca out there. I know 
mega teammate of mine is a oh. uh, is an amazing defense woman. Mm -hmm. um, what team do you play with her on? Rogue One time. Oh yeah, well, I didn't realize she was on that team. She's allowed in red. It's D1, or sorry, Wednesdays. Okay. Yeah, Wednesdays is different. Yeah. It's, it's like a weird division. It's, it's hard to explain. Yeah. But um, she's, she's always a, when I when I see her in front of the goal, it's always. I always feel a lot safer. Yeah. Uh, I played a tournament team with Meg. She was a very yeah. good asset to have. Oh my god. Yeah, there are awesome. some great players on that team. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I really, the women on that team are great to play with. Her, um, Sharon. No, Sharon's on it. Yeah. She got her new team. No she pucks on, given. Uh, zero pucks given. Zero yeah. pucks given. Either way. Yeah. We, uh, we play again on, um, what is it, on. Wednesday. Uh, we beat them in their first ever game. Um, I know. They I, did a good job, though. I know. Um, I, uh, oh, someone's got to cover Lindsay on that. Yeah. Who got that? Goal? Scott's goal? Yep. Scott, Scott's oh, another guy rough. who gets his scrappy goals inside. Um, yeah, he does. Yeah, but also, I think there was also a really good assist on that. So, yeah. Lindsay just kind of crashed in from coming on the court. Mm -hmm. And no one's really covering her because she just came yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, Got to be aware of the people cutting yeah, in. Absolutely. Uh, I think that that's another issue with uh, a lot of these guys playing out of position for red coats. Yeah. Is that, um, who has who? Yeah. Exactly. Like, the zones are something that, like, if you can play center your entire life. Um, I mean, you can't fault Dominic for either of these guys. He, he's been playing yeah. phenomenal so far. Yeah. He's just been facing so many more shots. Oh, yeah. Um, I think this, this is the week. This is a league where we, it, um, for those who have played, you'll notice that teams had full rosters this week. Um, yeah. It was great to see teams play at their full potential because I think the level of play today was phenomenal. Just overall. Um, That's a good point. I know, I, I was watching the uh, Ball Hogs Funkmasters game, and that was a great game. I mean, yeah. so much talent on both sides. Um, our game against the Zambroni was a great game. Uh, oh. Really enjoyed playing that. I mean, not for me, but it was good. I mean, it was a good game. okay. For all, Zambronis have had some issues. Um, definitely, like managing to be a D three team. Um, but we didn't get blown out. Yeah, and no, that's it a was good two time. to one. You guys yeah. held your own. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. you had some yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. You had some good plays that's all nice. across the board. Everyone did. Yeah. Great save by Dom. I mean, you were shutting me down half the time, so you really can't complain about that. <laughs> I think John Robson's definitely a nice. Oh yeah, that that is nice. Yeah. Great goalie. Uh, he's, he's so large, he's so hard to mm -hmm. score on. He's finding a corner that's open. Um, right. I mean, I, I couldn't pick a corner if I was a foot away, so being able to pick one while it's moving is uh, not a Nice thing. carry by Lindsay. Um, there's an interesting D3 action. I saw, uh, what happened with this? IPA all black. Oh, wrong game. No, no, yeah. They, I did not Goonie, see the Goonies, Goonies game. lost the Stingrays, okay. but they, they had most of the players. That right? was the. I didn't see that game. Um, I was told that they just missed a couple bounces here and there, Marla. but uh, they lost I think, a couple. Um, yeah. IPA and all blacks was not the closest of games. No. Um, IPA was missing tell. a couple of their good players. Oh, yeah. uh, I saw John Sinchon wasn't there for that game. Yeah. He's got an like, unbelievable weapon from that IPA have. Uh, Mike John, Wendy at two. Wendy was phenomenal. Offside? I heard a whistle. Yeah, I think it's off. All right. All right. So I play the next game. Do you guys have any interest in keeping this going? And you would just to finish? No. We. Well, just the end of it? Yeah. No, you. Yeah, but she's your. You're not leaving until she leaves. You yeah, can end it so early. Yeah, so that's on teal. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you got it? Thank you. Just um, when you're done, click on finish. And no, then no, Ben knows how to do it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't Good, worry. thank you so much. Ben knows how to do it. <laughs> so we're wishing the best of luck to Jess. Is it Untouchable's girl game? Right. Yes, that's the last All right. game, but you don't have to do that one. Yeah, it's really sad that I know that. No, it's fine. Ben, you it's said you just knew every stat in every game. It's over. Oh, no. Ooh. Sorry, Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks Andrew for commentating with Brian us, Keith. Yes. What? <laughs> thanks for commentating with us. Yeah. And tries to get it to Andrew Marshall's in the... Jess. Where's the mic? He forgot it, but it's in there. It... But it's like the Okay. But there, there, that, you don't need the, the I guess not. 
Anyway. This guy tries to dribble around the entire crease. Uh, good effort there, but... Yeah. Uh, Jess leaving us to go prepare for her game after this one. She is, uh, I believe, the assistant captain of Un Untouchables. Or, uh, yeah. And uh, she's they'll been be on playing there against while. Gorilla Gang in the last game of the night. The Gorilla Gang are the defending D2 champions, but I think they started out the season a little bit rough. Um, I think they've been missing a couple players here and there. I'm sure the 9 o'clock game is not going to help too much in terms of uh, their attendance. but Definitely not. Um, Untouchables, Luckily, I assume uh, Joe will still be playing. Um, and uh, there are some other uh, great players on that team. Um, the D2 division this season, uh, and a couple seasons past, has been really, really uh, getting up there. I mean, there's very little difference between D2 and D1 nowadays. Yeah. Uh, it's very... Um, with a lot of crossover between the two divisions, there's oh, no, yeah. no, of course. There's very few players in uh, of the top players in D1 who don't play in D2. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them don't have uh, other circumstances, but it's not completely. Great save by Dominic there. Absolutely. Or uh, as he likes to call himself, Walmart. Uh, we've been told. It is on the back of one of his jerseys. The uh, Guardians jersey. Red coach with the draw. Mike Huber wins it back to Ann. She tries to get it up the boards to Mike, but it looks like Nick is there. Nick Moser there for the kickoff. And Ooh. Michael trying to get it deep to Becca. To Becca can get it on goal. And she takes a slap shot to Nick. Uh, Dominic with the cover. Lindsay to put an end to that one. Lindsay Bittler does a great job of swatting that in the air and nearly getting it into the goal. She gets it into the crease. Just uh, incredible hand-eye coordination there. Yeah. That is not something uh, you can teach overnight. Yeah, Lindsay with the goal earlier, so uh, uh, Redcoats should probably be watching out for her. Absolutely, it looks like uh, she's pretty open on the back door there. Yep. Um, and Mercury Rising is setting up in the zone. They're doing a great job of cycling, of just never staying put. Uh, just because you have a two goal lead, most in, uh, in hockey, the, what is the worst lead out there, Alec? Uh, it is two zero. It is a two goal lead, actually. actually in, in, interesting. Uh, yeah. It looks like we have Abdul checking in. Uh, our uh, favorite Arabian Nights captain. Um, I, uh, that's a weird way to say Becca. Uh, okay. <laughs> our favorite male in the Arabian Nights captain. There we uh, go. Who also plays defense. Um, a great game out there today, Abdul. Uh, I saw Yager Bombs were playing um, earlier. I don't know how that cool one, but... Bomb suffered a uh, loss to uh, Young Bloods earlier today, um, but you know it's early in the season. Uh, that is a team that wins a lot of games, has a lot of firepower. Um, some of the best players in the league are uh, there, so you gotta expect a lot more from that team. Uh, you know they start out the season a little slow, but um, it is after all the postseason that matters. Of course, Meg Fontaine's got it. To Scott. Great cool. save. Uh, Scott is just a, a persistent forechecker. Uh, it was just what uh, effort screams at. Alex, Alex doing a good taking job. Up. Uh, passes it to Austin, but Austin did not have the space or position to get that. Marla tries to pick it off of Stoney, but Stoney gets it around her. Ooh, great slap shot saved by Dominic. And it's back in the corner again. Mercury Rising maintaining control. They, uh, they have been controlling this. Ooh, Austin uh, hits the, it out of there. The shot, the shot disparity. Uh, I'm not sure what these refs are putting out, but it's got to be uh, pretty crazy right now. Yeah. Uh, Dominic is really on the back of his heels this whole game. Austin doing a great job picking it off, getting it to Alex in some space. 
see if Alex can get around Brian Keith. And he does. Oh, on the wow. Court, but she manages to get there. That is what the Redcoats need. They yeah. need to use that speed of Alex Austin a mid. I mean, they have some very speedy forwards yeah. out there. Alex Ortiz almost getting that in between her legs, and that would have been a pretty good goal for the Redcoats. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, luckily, they have plenty of fast people on this team, not just Alex Ortiz. So we'll see if anyone else can get that hand. And the ball gets passed across to Teal. Keeps it in the zone. Great job there by Teal. He stops it over Andrew Marshall, but Brian Keefe has the ball. Marla Brian, challenging him. Brian is not a guy you want to give too much space to in the defensive zone. Yep. He can make a nice run up there. Um, and Joe tries to chip it up, but Stoney does a great job there. And Joe Shea is running ahead. Looks like he slid a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, I think that was on purpose. I, I, I think he was looking for a trip, but... Uh, what is this, soccer? No, he wasn't. Yeah. Referee Patrick Noyce was right there and uh, said none of that. Uh, let's keep playing on. Teal with a great stick on Andrew Marshall. That is what positioning does to you. Oh. Looks like Carlos kind of tripped on my Huber there, but no call. Lindsay with the ball down the. Wow. What a great pass there. Ooh. Great defense there to keep that one, because Dominic Ariel, was out of position. Ariel doing a great job of helping out his goalie there. Carlos with the ball, hitting up. And we, are, we are under a minute left in the period. Joe Shea with the ball. Show to Marla. Carlos picks it off, though. Austin with the ball. Takes a shot almost on the goal. Outside. Uh, Greta, I agree. Alex isn't really that fast. I might be biased in that opinion, but, uh, you know. Greta, we all thank you for dealing with Alex. It's not an easy battle, but... Uh... It's okay. I'm way faster than Alex is. Um, you can tell him I said that. He'll back me up. And, and with that, that's the end of the second period with Mercury Rising 2 and the Redcoats, zero. Goals by, uh, I believe, Lindsay yep. and um, I don't know, it was like Scott Bode, I believe, was the second goal. Yeah, um, I believe so. I think he's, uh, I don't know if he's on this team or something. Um, but uh, a, a great job there to get a scrappy goal. Mm -hmm. um, Mercury Rising is completely controlling uh, this game in terms of the possession, uh, the shots on goal. Um, they, they really are... Um, Whoops. They're really doing a great job out there. Uh, so out of the, third, out of the third period, I'd love to see Redcoats get some more shots. Again, e even if they're not pretty shots, a shot on goal can still lead to a rebound. Um, you, you really got to just trust uh, your other forwards to uh, put one in. Ben taking the words right out of my mouth. I was about to ask him what I would think uh, Redcoats would have to do to take this back. Yeah. Again, two goals, not that big of a lead, especially in hockey, and especially now that if Mercury Rising ices the ball, that will be a penalty. Nope, nope, not in D1. In I did not know that, and that is my fault. In D1, there is not that rule does not apply, so there's no legal icing, so Mercury Rising can not. Alright, uh, yeah, shows what I know. Anyway, I have never played in D1, so uh, there's that. Uh, Greta, thank you. We uh, appreciate your comments on our commentary. That is really mostly to Ben, because I have no idea what I'm talking about, as I just demonstrated. Uh, so, for Mercury <laughs> Rising, I'd love to see them um, really use, um, use like, the full court. Um, because a lot of the times you're seeing Becca or Meg or Lindsay are a little bit uncovered. Um, and the, all of those can finish the goal. They can finish like no Definitely. other. Definitely. Especially so, Lindsay, who already has a goal tonight. Yeah. And um, Mercury Rising defense uh, has a lot of guys who can really make runs. Yeah, they, they have some guys who can make runs. I know uh, Brian Keefe is a, a great defender who loves to um, make runs into the uh, offensive zone. I know Stoney is a guy who can play offense, defense. He's got great stick handles, a great shot. Um, so, I'd just like to see... Uh, them really use like the, the full court. It looks like uh, Amit's pressuring Brian there. Amit's able to get the ball though. Pass to Wendy a little bit off the stick though, and Meg is able to almost clear it out of the zone. 
mid pass to Alex. A little bit outside. And Brian does a great job of clearing it out of the zone. That will not be an icing call. Oh, that will be an icing call. That will be an icing, but again, since it is uh, D1, there is no uh, penalty involved. Learn something new every day. Yeah. Because uh, I certainly did. Man, I really should play defense in D1. Don't have to worry about icing. Because there's no way I can play You center. get so much elevation on your players. I just clear it. Because <laughs> uh, it so needs to have elevation. It looks like we have uh, Alex Ortiz and, and Nick, Nick Moser lining up. And a win back to Joe. Great win by Alex. Wow. Wow, that is that is what you like to see, that kind of play right there. Great win to Joe. Joe with a great shot. Just a tad bit uh, outside, but um, you, you got to get more shots on goal, and that, that's the that best way to do it. That was a great clear by Nick Moser yeah. there. Great. Becca will take the ball around over here. Wow, look at Nick run down that ball. Uh, Nick is an uh, underrated guy in terms of his, how well he wins faceoffs, his speed. Um, he, he's just... He's just a guy who puts it 100% out there 100% of the time. Right? Yeah. There's no off button on that. I really don't know if he's that underrated. Nick kind of does what he wants to do, and he's really good at it. Granted, I only play in D3 with him. Fair. Yeah. Anyway, Joe Shea over here keeping control of the ball. Keeping very good control, passes it to the center, and that will be blocked for the shot. Teal trying to keep it in, does a good job over to Wendy. Huber almost is able to get the ball out uh, away from, I believe, Michael. We are stuck in our blind spot here. Good save there, keeping it in. Just a tad bit uh, outside for Joe, but he's, uh, the shots on goals are fantastic. It looks like uh, an errant call for? by the uh, the ref. He thought I think Chris Thorpe over there, the, one of the more more newer refs in the league, uh, thought that the uh, thought that Nicole, uh, the goalie had it in her glove, um, but it looks like it went uh, right past it. Yeah. Um, but a whistle is a whistle. Yep. So it has to call. Whistle. I mean, uh, I think the league is doing a great job in terms of getting some of these newer refs uh, integrated into the league. I definitely agree. And also, refing is very hard. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. you want to say, like, oh, like, how could you make this call? How could this happen? But when you're not the one who's, like, you have to watch everyone. Not only do you have to watch the where the ball is, you have to watch every player on the court at the same time and be able to make those calls. It is very difficult. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to all the refs. Yeah, we, we can give the refs as much crap as we want during the game because we're all competitors out here. We all want to win. But on the other hand, you gotta gotta make sure you give respect where it's due. Yeah. Um, I know uh, I've seen uh, good friend Jason Maxstein uh, refing a lot of games recently. Yeah. Uh, he's been uh, improving greatly as a ref. Uh, I know that he's uh, nursing up a, uh, a shoulder injury, so he's really learning some new stuff. Oh, it looks like a mid and Carlos in a foot race down there. A mid, a mid is gonna win that. Stick and no tripping call there, but uh, a mid doing. Uh, Great job of creating some space right there. He had no business getting that ball, but he really just ran it down. The mid is just that fast, and Carlos probably could have been faster than that. I think I've seen him be faster than that. He's stuck over here. That'll be no icing call on that one. While well, you have it open. And Carlos has it deep in the zone. Thank you. He's got a lot of space, but um, Joe is coming at him. stoney has got the ball. Oh, Joe Shea gets the ball. And look how much. You've seen a lot of low percentage shots out of red coats um, on breakouts and stuff like that. They really got to use. Um, they got to use their their whole team. Um, I think they're doing a fantastic job of getting some possession, picking off a lot of uh, passes. Um, but, yeah. Um, but Red Coats really need to put some shots on the goal, get the goalie moving. Um, we heart you too, Brett. Oh, no. Um, oh, 
Ooh. Brett, I believe a former current player with Greg Coates. Um, team is doing great out there. I know Mercury Rising's been a, a real up and coming team. Uh, I know that they're, they're a, a newer team in D1. Ooh, that was but, not uh, a good clear by Teal. Great team out there. Uh, Dominic with a great save wow. coming out of his crease. Hey, that was amazing. Cole, that is not an easy save to make. Um, yeah, especially with him being completely uncovered with that shot. Yeah, um, absolutely uh, great save. The score might not show up, but Dominic is having a phenomenal game in net so far. He's had to face so many more shots than Nicole has so far. Yeah. Um, and he's doing a great job. And Teal does a great job of getting out. Oh, excellent pass by Teal to Joe. Look at Joe. Look at Wendy at the back door. Oh, and great vision by Joe right there. Yeah. She just misses by a bit, though. Joe keeping the ball. Wendy also, in an earlier game, had a great job getting that back door shot every time. She is always in that spot. I think that's Wendy in every game she's yeah. ever played. In her, uh, she DCHL. really knows how to handle that area, and she is very good at it. Yeah, I think they might as well reserve a spot uh, for her in the record books on the back doors. It's pretty much written down on the court at this point. Like to, I would have liked to see red coats there. Um, when, they, when they pick off a pass like that, reset the play. Um, get your guys a chance to breathe, get them on the side, so that way it's really your ball, not a, just a, a clear. Yep. A mistake that I personally have made many times, mm -hmm. uh, and, and all of us have, but... Uh, yep, definitely. Yeah, we're all trying to get better. That's, I think that's something that would really help them out. Looks like a mid ball in the air, and he's swinging a miss um, on the kick. Um, I believe that was Adam Goldberg with the uh, kick miss. And Dominic will cover that. Let it go because he's got a lot of space. Teal taking it. Let's see if she can get it out. Great pass there. But Stoney lines up for it, and it's deflected. Amit's got the ball to Austin with some space. Amit, oh, what a great play by Carlos there. Great slap shot blocked. Oh no, oh my god. Phenomenal play by Dominic right there. Wow, I mean, he. And the helmet comes off. Jeez, you don't see that that often. Okay, top. So, great play by Dom there to uh, freeze the ball. Uh, that really absolutely just shut down uh, Mercury Rising. Uh, shut the team down there. So, uh, six, about a little less than seven minutes left. We're still a 2 0 game with uh, Mercury Rising on top. And Stoney's got the ball, passing across to Carlos. Carlos not taking a slap shot. Passing wow. up to Becca instead. Uh, who uh, gets the ball taken away from Austin. Austin's got a little bit of space. The guy you want to go give some space to because with that kind of size and strength, a little bit of space is a lot of bit of space. Yep. And gets it. She passes it around the back. Uh, Kevin Shea, shouldn't you be out right now instead of watching this game? Oh, shit. Huh? Kevin Shea, great job in the uh, Young Bloods game. It looks like a uh, shutout versus Dogger Bombs. Uh, that, and that, was a, that is a very talented team. Yeah, is he just with me? Good friend. <laughs> uh, oh, Alex Ortiz just beating Carlos right there. I mean, Ooh. you want to talk about a guy just being faster than another guy. That was Alex on Carlos right there. Alex Ortiz is a very fast man. He's fast and he's unbelievable. His speed with the ball. Just a, something. Oh, great keep by Ann there. Absolutely. Errol gets it deep to Marla. Marla gets it to Alex. He's got the ball around the face off point. Shot off. Joe's got the ball now, trying to get it in there desperately. And, and Nicole frozen. will cover that. You just got to get, get more of that. Uh, get it more at the goal. Um, I think uh, Redcoats have been playing great this period. Trying. All right. Anyway, that ball goes over there. And we got a little bit of a break.
Count. Oh, and the ball goes right past Teal Stick to Lindsay. Lindsay will win that race for sure. She's got the ball very much controlled. And a great opening in the slot. Dominic with another phenomenal save. And Joe Shea comes away with it to try to clear it up. Gets it past half. And Wendy gets it in the zone, but a right to the Mercurizing defender. Um, I think Dominic has been playing fantastic today. I mean, he might he, he might have led in two, but it, it could have, with, with most other goalies, that's a four or five goal game. Yeah. Um, he's had some pretty great saves yeah. based on what he's had to face. And keep in mind how many shots he's faced compared to Nicole. Granted, Nicole is still playing a phenomenal game. Oh, absolutely. She's still shutting down a very good offense. Wow! Another one for Lindsay. She is just in the right position. Just There is nothing the goalie could do about that. Um, it looks like the defender was out of position there a little bit. Yeah. Um, Again, you can't just leave Lindsay like that. Granted, that's hard to defend as well. But she, she was in the, in the post, or in the slot. Um, pretty open. There's yep. nothing you can do about that. But, I mean... Uh, that's, that's now 3-0 for Mercury Rising. Um, and we have three minutes and 40 seconds left. Do you expect a, uh, a goalie pull within a minute or so? Uh, um, yeah, I think they could definitely pull one. Great save by Dominic over there. Yeah, easy, easy. I mean, he's let in a couple, but he's been playing fantastic. Uh, his defense has definitely been... Uh, not helping it too much in terms of a lot of people playing out of position, a lot of guys uh, and girls uh, just uh, missing some uh, important players. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Lin Lindsay right now has two goals. She's been playing phenomenal from Mercury Rising. Um, I think uh, Red Coats, again, they've taken a lot of shots in terms of quality shots on goal. Uh, Nicole has had a single digit amount of uh, very, very difficult ones to stop. But she, she has been playing fantastic. And there's another goal for Mercury Rise. Jeez. It looks like that might be uh, really putting it away there, folks. Yeah, that is... Yeah, that is uh, four over Mercury Rising with two and a half minutes left. It is looking pretty tough for Redcoats right now. Zach from AJ. Zach um, doing a great job finishing that one right there. Looks like the face off between Adamberg and Mike Huber. And make get this forward. A little bit of space. And, and there's a goal for a minute. Redcoats get on the board. Um, I mean. And a timeout will be called, probably by Redcoats. I mean, look, look folks, uh, it is a it is a 4-1 game, but there's still two minutes left. This is these are some extremely talented players on both sides. This is not over. Uh, yeah. This is definitely not over. Definitely doable for Redcoats. Difficult, but still doable for sure. Yeah, I mean, do you believe in miracles, Alan? That is the question. I have seen that movie many times. Uh, great sports movie. Probably the greatest Olympic sports movie of all time. That's for sure. And definitely the greatest hockey movie. Mighty Ducks is up there, too, but I miracle. I actually watched Goon recently. Uh, really? It's not up there, but it's a good, it's a solid movie. I've never actually seen Goon. It's on Netflix. All right, well, I don't have Netflix, so it uh, doesn't help me. It's my parents' Netflix, not mine. It still counts. Fair. I don't even have that. Anyway, so yeah, it is now 4-1 to one with 2 minutes and 2 seconds left in the game. Redcoats is really going to have to push it in there, keeping Dominic in, which I think is a good idea. Yes. Yeah, it's 4 so it's four to one. It looks like there's a little bit of uh, scores uh, issue there. But it's definitely four to one. Austin takes this face off, passes it up. Joe Shea is really trying for that one. Gets a shot off. Joe using every part of his body on that one there. Hand, feet, everything. Uh, hey, that's how you gotta do it. I mean, yeah, it, it, this is not a, this is not practice. Um, we are not talking about practice out here. No, this is a game. As uh, Allen Iverson once said, Oh, and Austin misses the wrister right there. Ooh, oh, off the post! You oh, can hear oh, that. Wow, where was this from Redcoats all game? They are playing phenomenal in the offensive zone. Man, this is a pretty bad defensive situation. Saved by Dominic! Let's see if they can get a quick start. 
Great job, Dominic, on the save. Uh, yeah. A nice 2 on 0 for Mercury Rising. No, nah, Tio's there. 2 on 1. 2 on 1. 2 on 1, excuse me. I think they both were closer to the goal, but I don't know yeah. what the definition is. No, nah, um, I, I don't know. It looked like T covering another yeah. defender. Marlowe was trying to catch up, but that guy was really fast. Adam Goldberg in his, I believe, debut season with D1. Uh, really? He started with uh, the Untouchables in D2. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's definitely uh, a big uh, addition to Mercury Rising. I think... Uh, Ooh, man. Wendy with a shot gets blocked. Teal is there to save that one. Joshe with the ball, passes it up. Mike Huber Ooh. and Nicole grabs it. It's loose, it's loose. It is still loose. Austin can tap it in. Oh, oh not quite, it's just it's wide. wide. And the goalie stick is nowhere near. Nicole, let's see if someone can capitalize on that. Joe Shea with a nice ball. <laughs> and it looks like Red Coaches keep it in the zone. Great keep by Becca right there. Goes into the back corner Absolutely and litty uh, titty as Becca would say. Oh my god. <laughs> Still trying to hit that up. Wendy with the ball. Good up to Joe Shea and with that. Time will run out. Our final score is 4 to 1 with Mercury